everyone, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel and another video. Today we're going to do my top five inks for people starting out with fountain pens. So jumping straight into it, my first one is Diamine Oxblood or to be honest, Diamine Writer's Blood. This is a cult classic and it is a cult classic for a reason. The ink just writes beautifully. It has worked in every pen I've put it in so far. It looks good on every paper. It's just, it's an ink that will be kind to you, <laughs> is the way I'm going to put it. I didn't put enough on my dip pen just then because I'm actually scraping the barrel of a sample because I've used it all. This is one I definitely will be buying a, a bottle of. It is a deep, deep, dark red bordering on burgundy. Sometimes when it really pulls, it even looks black. It's just it's just a gorgeous ink and that's coming from someone who never thought I would like a black ink uh, sorry a red ink whatsoever so number one recommendation is Diamond Oxblood I'm not doing these these are in no particular order but this is definitely should be on the list the next I'm going to recommend is actually a, a series of inks and I'm I think I've got around six samples but I'm going to show you three and that is the Pilot Iroshizuku inks I find these inks to just be kind to you that probably sounds weird but what I'm trying to say is they're not tricky inks they just feel like they're really good quality they are a little bit more expensive but I think that price is reflected in in the quality of the ink when you write with it I haven't had a bad experience with any of them there's really beautiful colors uh, throughout the range that they continue to add to I think if you were to get yourself a couple samples of these as you were trying to work out pens and your writing styles you would be really really happy with what you've purchased so the three samples that I'm showing the first one is Konpeki this is a very very famous Pilot Hiroshizuku blue probably their most famous a lot of people love this ink uh, it's work appropriate every you know everyday writing um, it's not my personal favorite but it is a, a really lovely blue the next one is one that I do really like. It is Pilot Hiroshizuku Kirisami. This is a grey, but definitely a warmer grey. Um, I've also finished a sample of Fuyu Siugun, I think I'm saying that right, which is a, a colder grey. I think that this grey is, is just beautiful. I think it's dark enough that you could, um, you know, write it, uh, sorry, use it to for like longer writing where it's still going to be legible, but it's the warmth in it that I really love the undertones of I don't know is it purples or pinks or something that just makes it a little bit more interesting lastly this is a new one I've just discovered sent to me by a pen friend this is Pilot Hiroshizuku Kujaku it is a tealy blue I would say uh, it is just really beautiful on the page and has some really nice shading to it so second recommendation is the Pilot Hiroshizuku uh, series of inks. Third recommendation is a category of inks that I'm going to call Almost Blacks. And there are so many. Today I'm going to swatch Robert Oster Thunderstorm, which is like a bluey grey. But the reason I'm saying Almost Blacks is, for someone like me, I felt a bit overwhelmed with all the colours and going with an Almost Black ink was a way to kind of dip my toe in. But then once you start realizing, oh, there's a really noisy plane going past, once you start looking into it, there are so many versions. There's blue blacks, green blacks, red blacks, gray blacks. There's inks that have black, or, oh, there's black inks that sheen, black inks with shimmer. That probably is a little bit different to this. But as a way to dip your toe into working out what different color or aesthetics suit you, I think almost blacks are a great way to go. And I also think they're work appropriate. So, it, you know, you can use it at work, but it gives a little bit of character. Next up is another Robert Oster ink, and it's Robert Oster Gold Antiqua. And I've included this because this for me was my first, what I'm going to call complex ink. And what I mean by that is what actual color it is, isn't clear. Is it brown, green, yellow, gold? Different pens, different paper, different lights, it looks differently. And the reason I've included it is because it was really important in my fountain pen ink learning experience to, to use inks that are a little bit more complicated to learn about 
how colors work together, how they write in different pens, how they shade, so on and so forth. So that's why I've included that one. I would love to know actually if anyone out there has another kind of ink then put in the, the complex category. This is one for me. Lastly on my list is I've included an ink that makes you smile. You know, one that makes you have fun. And for me at the moment, that is Pen BBS Strawberry Milkshake, purely because I just think it's a great name. I think it's a fantastic name. It makes me smile. Uh, I had it inked up in a platinum preppy and it was super fun to write with. So that is my top five ink recommendations for people starting out with fountain pens, just giving you a close up of what they look like once they've dried. Uh, the Dimer and Oxblood, Pilot Oshizuku series, Robert Oster Thunderstorm, or an uh, almost black, a complex ink in Gold Antigua, and an ink that makes you smile. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all again tomorrow.